So this is the Vauxhall Mocha E Elite Premium. And let's take a look at the interior of this car and let's start with the boot. So we'll just open it up. You use the key to open up the boot by pressing and holding. That's the key there. You just press and hold that and it will open the boot up. And yeah, it's quite a reasonable size boot. It's not a huge car at the end of the day, but this isn't too bad. I'm not sure of the exact specification in terms of liters. You've got your parcel shelf up here. And then there's actually another layer underneath this. So you can take this out. If we lift it up, you've got all these cables underneath there. You can remove all of those. The, all those cables for a start can go in that bag right there. So that's what it's designed for. So you can move them out the way. And if you need that extra space, that extra height, because you can see it's quite a bit there, then you know you can get rid of that if you want to. You've got split rear seats there. 60 40 or whatever it is i think it's 60 40 split rear seats so um you can fold those down flat and then you've got quite a lot of room there and then you've got three headrests at the back as well one for the the center as well which is really good and let's move on round. let's go to the back first why not let's just do this all backwards and there's the back nice material here this looks like leather obviously i don't think it is leather but it's probably vinyl or something but it looks it looks nice. It does look really good quality. And then you've got this bit here, which in many ways makes sense because you're sitting on this material. It's actually more comfortable to, to sit on this, especially when it's hot, um, than it is this. So um, that's really good. And then down here, you've got your foot wells. It's a shame we have to have this in the way, um, but you know that's because they make this car in petrol as well. So you've got to have that, unfortunately. But with this being electric, they don't need it. And then you've got your headrests, as I say, they will just move up and down, which is perfect. And then you can just move them down again by pushing on there. And there you go. And then I don't think there is a center armrest on this. Looking at, looking at this, no, it doesn't look like there is, unfortunately. That's a shame. But never mind. Just down here, you've got your USBs. And they're standard USB-A type ports. Now, a lot of European cars are putting on the USB-Cs now because that's the way the industry is going. In fact, I think in EU law, they're making it that everyone's got to have USB-C. So um, nothing we need to worry about too much anymore, being as we're out of the EU. However, um, yeah, this I'm surprised this hasn't got a USB-C on there, but that's fine. And then you've got your electric windows just there, which you can use. Quite big headrests on the front, aren't they? I think they're pretty big. Let me know what you think of the interior of this car so far underneath. I'd be curious to know what you think. Your speaker just down here. And let's move into the front. There we go. So in the driver's side, you've got your electric window controls. You've got your electric mirror controls, uh, the ability to lock the windows to stop the kiddies playing about with those. This is quite a nice finish. It's really, sh it's really smooth. It doesn't look it, but it is. It's really, really smooth and sort of modern and metallic looking. And then up here, yeah, you've got like this kind of grippy looking material. I think it's quite good overall. The interior looks quite, quite good quality. And again, the seats, there's no, um, like on the rear seats, you've got that leather look. There's none of that in the front seats at all. As you can see here, it's all material, but you've got the same center part, which is a nice textured sort of airy feeling material. You've got your branded mocha mat down the bottom there, and then your lights and everything just there. Air vents. And let's get in and take a little look here. So just here then, um, you've got your steering wheel, you've got your adaptive cruise control, heated steering wheel. That's a nice touch on this mocha elite premium. And then your volume there, and then you can change your radio station and source and everything there. Voice control, telephone answering, and that's it there's only these two stalks on this one so that's pretty good well, i might just turn the turn it on a second and let it light up for you there you go so you've got your one um, screen just there giving you loads of information really wide as well which is good and then your other one is here which is also very very big i think from memory they're both 10 inches there we go, let's just turn that down. Oh, it's just taking a while. There's the volume control, by the way, not down there. That is your air controls. So 
with this this car you've only got um one climate setting in terms of you know the whole car not individuals like your passenger and you so when you're turning this up and down it's adjusting the temperature but it is just your side as far as i know unless we do yeah it is just that side you've got heated seats there though as well which is good just here so you can turn those on and they're three three different settings recycling the air uh, rear screen um, heater and then your front screen to just clear it and then here's your infotainment system which um, you can go to the menu just here this will work with apple carplay and android auto but only if you're using a cable which is something that really annoys me i wish they would just do it via bluetooth like the um you know the volkswagen id3 for example but i must admit having a cable it is a little bit more reliable than the bluetooth which did sort of uh, break a few times when i was using the the uh, id3 but um yeah hopefully they'll figure that out there's your nav just there and then we've got our stereo here and then settings for the car itself like the blind spot a blind spot monitoring hey let's turn that on that's quite a good idea uh automatic headlamp dipping i think that's a good idea as well let's leave that on I'm not sure why these weren't on really vehicle settings just there your headlights safety comfort um what else have we got here so if we go to this one it will tell you the charge and there you can see your car battery uh, and, and where you're at statistics and stuff not much statistics at this moment in time because this car has done exactly 100 miles as you can see just there there you go 100 miles so really fresh fresh out the factory which is one of the things i really like about getting the cars from on to because that's how they usually are is you get a brand new car that you can subscribe to and um you you can just have the car delivered within two weeks of ordering it usually on their website there's a there's a coupon code for 50 pounds off by the way if you want to do that um, I, as i say i subscribe to these cars i do not buy them i don't lease them and i can give them back anytime i like you know on a month to month basis so really good option for you especially when you know times are, 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 are difficult at the moment you never know when you need to give the car back and you haven't got enough money um, then it'd be really handy to have that flexibility i think so just down here we've got our cup holders and then this is just like the inside of the um the last car i had which was a citroen uh, ec4 shine plus it's just the exact same controls this area is just the same all of this so i was super familiar with this when i jumped in here that's because the parent companies are the same of these cars and then just down here we've got their like lane assist and uh, all the other sort of safety features i think that's to yeah turn off the alarm um and then uh, yeah that's, an, that's the alarm off i'm not sure what that does to be honest with you i have no idea oh here we are I think it might be something to do with the locking. Maybe it's like some sort of lock. So I'll, I'll look into that. I'll look into that. But there we go. And just here, storage-wise, you've just got this this little one down here. These are the cards that we get with a onto car. You get all these charging cards because obviously this is electric. And you get these three cards, which pretty much covers you anywhere. If you want to go and get get your car charged up for free, you can use all of these. Like you've got the Shell Network, the Instavolt and BP. So no problem there. But obviously, if you've got a charger at home, you don't even need to worry. But that's just something they give you when you subscribe to a car with them. So you don't have to worry if you're out on the road. You can always find somewhere using ZapMap. And there's the back from the front. And there you go our mirror and that's about it that's the interior of the the Vauxhall Mocha E Elite Premium I like it I think it's pretty nice I quite like all of this this is quite nice and shiny now what they've done one thing I like about what they've done here I'll try and show you from this angle is can you see it kind of curves around like this so it's very driver focused this this interior like everything's angled slightly towards us the driver the most important person of course um but it does create like this pointed front here like this for the passenger like that you can probably see it there i don't think it's you know too much of an issue and i actually as as the driver i like it because everything's facing me 
you know I'm the one who's supposed to be looking at the sat nav after all so um, you know it maybe I'm the most important person but I think it's really good I think it's a good car let me know what you think in the comments below and then obviously as I drive it more then I'll be doing other videos on on that and actually sort of letting you know what I think about it but I can't really do that with it with a hundred odd miles or whatever so I don't think that's fair I'm going to do you know lots of miles in it and then I can really give you a true indication of what I think but so far so good I like it it's a good car um, speaking of like if you wouldn't mind liking this video it really helps me out and then uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on this car the Vauxhall Mockery and all of the other electric cars that I've been reviewing, go and have a little look around if you're thinking about getting one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.